Well, today on The Boiling Point, we're going to talk about the difference between a condensate system and a deaerator. Well, it's trade show season here at Ware, and we're going to be at the Power Gen. Our container comes out, and I start looking at it, and I thought, uh, you know what, let's talk a little bit about the deaerator and also a condensate system and talk a little bit about what the difference is. I got my man Steve Taylor here, our uh, resident expert, if you will. Stephen, why don't we talk a little bit about the deaerator first, and what is a deaerator for? Uh, it's to preheat the water and remove the oxygen from the water. Get oxygen in the, in the water, in, introduce that into the boiler, and you start oxygen pitting. That uh, destroys the tubes inside the boiler. That's what it's for. Okay. Actually, it's a feed system, if I'm correct. So is. what is it actually doing from that well, standpoint? Well, you're, you're preheating the water, and then these feed pumps are taking that water, because you're running four, five, six pounds of pressure on the deaerator. If the boiler is running 125 pounds, you got to get that pressure pumped up. So the, the preheated water goes to the pumps, the pumps jack that pressure up, pump it into the boiler as the boiler needs water, just to keep water in the boiler. As the boiler steams it off, more water comes in, just a full cycle. Okay, now what type of uh, temperature are we talking about in the deaerator? Uh, 220 to 230, 225, 227 is ideal, but it, it'll range between 220 and 230 degrees. And why is, the, uh, why is it important to actually take oxygen out of the water? Again, it, it, it'll attack, the oxygen will attack those tubes, start pitting, start oxygen pitting in the tubes, the tube sheet, the Morrison tube, the shell, and that'll destroy the tubes in the boiler itself. Okay. Why don't you take us through the inside of the deaerator and how the, when the water comes in and yep. then how this actually works. Yep. Well, this is a, has a modulating feed valve on it, so that valve will, will modulate up and down. The McDonald Miller has a slide switch on it, so that slide switch works like this. Got a float in there that makes that slide switch work. That sends a variable signal, 4 to 20 signal, to the mod motor, <clears throat> and that modulates that valve up and down according to where you want the water level in the, in the gauge glass. Typically, it runs just about here, about halfway is where the, that water level will normally run. Okay. When the water is introduced, it drops down through a spray head, so that water comes in through this spray head, and when it comes in, it comes out in a flash. It'll come out spraying out. Uh -huh. At the same time, to get rid of that, that oxygen that's in that water, because all water has the oxygen in it, you don't want that in the boiler. Mm -hmm. To get rid of it, you bring steam from the water in here, reduce it down to about five to seven PSI. That comes in through this system. The steam comes up in here, and it mixes with that water, and that, that steam will force those oxygen molecules into the very top of the, of the uh, container itself, the okay. tank itself. You have another opening here that we have plugged that the, the vent will, uh, the oxygen will vent out of and you take that out of the container itself. A lot of times you walk by a boiler room or outside of a boiler room you'll see a small pipe with steam coming out of it. That's actually oxygen being vented off of that feed system all the time. It's not wasted energy, it's just oxygen being vented off that deaerator system. Okay. And as we know from actually one of our steam cultures recently, Brent was actually talking about just how um, oxygen is, eats metal um, so bad. So, okay, well, let's go over to the condensate system okay. and we'll talk a little bit about that. Okay. Well, we've walked over to a 350 horsepower mobile boiler room and this actually has a condensate system in it. So, Stephen, we've just talked a little bit about the deaerator. Now let's move to the condensate system and talk about how this works. It's pretty much the same setup. We're introducing water here. We have a solenoid valve instead of a modulating valve here. So we've got two probes on the top of the tank. When the probe hits the, uh, drops off the bottom, uh, the water drops off the bottom probe, it energizes this, the solenoid valve. When the water gets back up to the top probe, it shuts that valve off just to, to uh, fluctuate the water up and down. So the water is introduced here uh, through the makeup water. Still have a, a preheater steam preheater that comes in, but it's going in through a sparging system. Okay. So what we have in there is a stainless steel pipe with about 200 eighth inch holes drilled in it at angles that are shooting up into the water. And that will preheat the water. We typically run that between 180 and 190 degrees. Okay. That'll get rid of about 95% of the oxygen out of the water. The rest of it we have to clean up by chemical injection with sulfite to get the rest of that oxygen out of that water. Okay, so chemical actually gets the gets that out of it. It, right? it cleans what, what a deerator would clean, then we use sulfite to get, get rid of the rest of okay, it. Okay, and then obviously once you do that <clears throat> chemical uh, cleaning that sulfite, um, you know, is there, is there something you have to do in the boiler? That, that you introduce that into the boiler, so that's gonna create a little bit of sludge, so that has to be blown out of the boiler when you daily blow down. Okay, um, so why, why DA? 
Why a condensate system? Which uh, one most, of the, most of the time, you'll see a condensate system on a smaller system. A lot of times, it's strictly capital. The, okay. the deaerator system is probably three times the cost of a condensate system, so it's strictly dollars and cents. And if you've got a lot of return coming back, then that return water is already treated, very little oxygen in it, so it's not nearly as, as aggressive as soft water is. If you've got a lot of soft water, a lot of makeup water, you really want to look at a deaerator system versus a condensate system. Really, the, the big thing is, of course, it's, it's preheating the water because you certainly don't want to introduce cold water into a boiler. Can't put cold water in the boiler. You'll shock it and then jerk tubes loose from the tube sheet. You'll have all kinds of problems. Okay. Appreciate you hanging out with us again. And uh, there's a difference between the deaerator system as well as a condensate system. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, I appreciate Stephen stopping by and talking to us a little bit about the condensate system and the deaerator. We're going to be at PowerGen and we'll have our trade show booth as always. And again, we'll be supporting Wounded Warriors. Make sure you stop by and see us and get that free t-shirt. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to that YouTube channel. We always appreciate you hanging out and if you like our videos, share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.